Hello friends. There are lots of viewer has requested us to fix the bug in online examination system and published improved version of online examination system. So for this, we have again come on online examination system tutorial and here we have fixed some bug under this online examination and at installation process so you can directly run this system without creating table in MySQL database. In this video, we will show you step by step how you can run this system in your local computer so there are less chances of error during run this system at your local computer. Now let's start. Show first we have to create one database in our MySQL database. So here we have create database with this name. After this, we have store online examination source code under this directory. So this we will use for define base URL. Now in browser, we have hit the base URL in which we have store online examination system source code. So if you not create any table in database, then it has asked for enter MySQL configuration details and base URL details. So here we have enter database name details, database user name details, database password details, database host details and base URL details. After entering this details, we have click on submit button. After click on submit button, it takes some time for setup tables in define database. After setup table, now in fourth step it has asked for enter master user login details. So under this step, we have enter master user name, master user email details and master user password details. After fill all these details, we have click on submit button. Once we have click on submit button, here our master user account has been set up and page redirect to admin login page. Now in fifth step, we have to login as master user login details. So here we have enter master user login details and click on login button. So here we have login into online examination system as master user. Now we have go to step 6 and under this we have to add class details so we have click on class link. So here class management page has been open and for create new class we have click on this plus button. After click on plus button model has been pop up so here we have enter class details and click on submit button. So here class details has been added, which we can see on web page. Under this system, master user can edit class details. Now we have go step 7, and under this step, we have to add subject details. So we have click on subject links. Here we can see subject management web page has been open. Now for add new subject, we have click on plus button. So here model has been pop up. So here we have enter subject details and click on add button. After click on add button, here we can see that subject data has been display on web page with edit button. Now we have go to step 8 and here we have to assign subject to particular class. So we have click on assign subject link. And on this page, we want to assign subject to particular class. So we have click on plus button. And here model has pop up on web page. And here first we have select class. And then after we have select subject. 
and click on add button. So here subject has been assigned to particular class. In step 9, we have to add student details. So we have click on student links. Now we want to add new student data. So we have click on plus button. So here model has been pop up. Now we have one by one fill student details. After fill student details, we have click on add button. After click on add button, here student details has been stored in database. In step 10, we have to assign class to student, so we have to click on assign student link. Now for assign class to student, we have click on plus button, and here in model, we have select class name, student name, and enter student roll number details. After this, we have click on add button. After click on add button, here we can see class has been assigned to student. So in this step, we have assigned class to student. In step 11, we have to add new exam details. So we have click on exam link, and here we want to add new exam details. So we have click on plus button. So under model, we have enter exam details, select class, and select exam duration for each subject, and then after click on add button. After click on add button, here we can see exam data has been stored in database, so under this step, we have exam basic exam details. In step 12, we have to add exam subject details, so we have to click on exam subject link. And here we have click on plus button. So under this model, we have select exam. After this, we have select subject. Next we have select exam date and time. Total question, marks for correct answer and marks for wrong answer. After this, we have click on add button. So under this step, we have save exam subject details. In step 13, we have to add particular subject question details. So we have click on question link. So here for add new question, we have to click on plus button. So here first, we have to select exam. Next we have to select subject. After this, we have to enter question title. And below it we have enter option 1, option 2, option 3 and option 4. And lastly, we have to select correct answer. After this, we have to click on add button. Once we have click on add button, question details will be stored under this system. So this way we will add next 4 question. So under this step, we have to add question details. Once you have set question for all subject, then in step 14, we have to change exam status, so we again go to exam management page, and select exam. So under this, we have to select publish, and click on edit button, once we have published exam, then this exam basic details can be seen to student. In step 15, we have go to student side. So here first we have login into student account. So we have click on this login link. So it has asked for enter email address details and password details. So here we have enter login details and click on login button. After click on login button, here we can see that student has been enter in student dashboard area. So under this step, we have seen student login. In step 16, for view exam details, we have click on exam link, and here student can view basic exam details. In step 17, 
For view exam timetable details, we have to click on view button, and here student can view exam timetable details subject wise. In step 18, once exam has been started, then refresh exam schedule details page, then one button has been appear for get take part under this in exam. In step 19, student can attend exam, and view exam question, and select answer for particular question, here we can see timer, student details, and dynamic question and option details. After completing of exam, in step 20, we have go to admin side, and go to exam management page, so here admin can view exam result by click on view exam button. So here admin can view exam result of all subject in single page. In step 21, admin has to publish exam result, so for publish exam result, we have to click on this publish button. So here, we can see that model has pop up on web page, and here we can select publish result date and time details, and click on submit button, so student can view their result after this date and time. In step 22, we have go to student area, and here student can view their all subject exam result by click on this button, and they can view their all subject exam result. In step 23, for view exam result in subject wise, we have to click on this view link, and here we can see list of exam subject, with result button link. Suppose student want to see this subject exam, result then they can view subject wise exam result also. So here we have described you whole online examination system in step by step process. This is improved version of online examination system, in which we have add setup page, so you have to enter only database configuration details, and base URL details, then this system will automatically set up in your local computer. And then after, you to set up your master user login details, and you can able to run this system under your local computer, then after we have also fixed some bug also. So please download latest source code from link which you can found under this video description.